Okay guys, this is Wani again and welcome back to Wani's house. In this installment, I'm sharing with you my thrifty finds for after Christmas. So, I forgot to share with you these votives here. Like I said, it's something about the turquoise with me right now. And I'm loving it. I'm loving how it is it's silver here on the inside with the mirrored effect I'm loving that and then on the outside here they're both that turquoise color that I am like going crazy over and those were purchased at Joanne as well okay so now for my thrifty finds I have been like on it these past this past week week and a half I have found some really really good things and let's go um first let's start right here so right here is just a it's a wire basket I'm loving this and you know you can serve in this you can put your apples and oranges or whatever in here you can also like um put styrofoam I'm sorry the floral foam in here and make a nice arrangement in here I love the the metal there's so many things that you know you could do you could actually put um, another flower pot in here and maybe have an orchid coming out of it I, I think that's a great idea too coming up in the spring that would be beautiful and have it like on your sofa table so this was purchased at the Goodwill um, I don't remember how much it was but it was purchased at the Goodwill then here guys this is what I found and I actually have two of them and they are cupcake holders and these were purchased at Goodwill as well and right here and they this one was a dollar ninety one cents and this one was three dollars and ninety three cents well and this one was cheaper because see one of the spirals and I've actually twisted it back into shape I think it was this one this one right here it was like out of shape so that's why this one was cheaper but actually she gave me both of these for a dollar and ninety one cents so for I paid four dollars and I think two cents for both of these I am going to spray paint them um, silver so that you know it wouldn't look so right here it has like a little red here it's a little um, beat and tattered a little bit but after I spray paint them they're gonna look brand new I thought these were excellent finds and um, for four dollars for two you, you can't go wrong with that then at the Salvation Army on near me on Wednesdays is 50% off day and this past Wednesday I was um, went by there and I purchased this ice bucket it doesn't have the silver tongs with it but I can get those anywhere and like I said it was 50% off the ticket is off here but it was $2.99 so I paid like a dollar fifty for this also at that Salvation Army um, was this beautiful white um, clay vase and I love this. This is going to go in my kitchen. The regular price is $4.99 and it was half off of that. So it was $2.50. Like $2.49 for this. And then here is a wooden bowl. I love these. I remember my aunt used to have these and have them on the table. And she would make a salad. And she could see her tossing the salad um, in the wooden bowl. This came from the Salvation Army as well, and it originally came from look like that may have been Marshall's, but I think it was six ninety nine. So I got it for like three dollars and forty nine cents, and then I already had the bamboo salad hands, um, and I actually have two pairs of these. And this um, I purchased these a while back, but these came from Ross, as you can see here, and they are perfect for this so can't you see yourself you know you have guests and that's another thing about me you know like if you there's a place here in Atlanta called Rosa Mexicana and 
they're kind of well known for their guacamole and there I'm sure it's probably a, a Rosa Mexicana and other cities as well but anyway if you order the guacamole um, they will make it table side and you know it costs a little bit more you know it's, it's just guacamole but it's just something about having something made right there in front of you and it's the same thing for a salad you know you have like a nice salad you can have like your cherry tomatoes slice up your cucumbers your red onions um, I like olives I put some like black olives in there and I'll make a balsamic sauce or some kind of vinaigrette sauce homemade and you sprinkle it over with your seasonings your lemon pepper your um, pepper um, your um, red pepper flakes or whatever and you drizzle it over and then you just toss the salad maybe put some eggs in that some hot boiled eggs and just toss the salad and then you know you would take it and you would serve it to your guests on the plate I think that is so elegant I, I really do or you know you can do it at the you know toss the salad at the table have your salad your bamboo salad hands on um, a rest on the side like this and your guests can make their own salad you know either way you like but you know I just think that is really nice that's really elegant is once again you know to me it's about something that you're doing yourself or you're or you're preparing in front of people it makes it more special and um, so I really like that you know and I was so happy that I had these bamboo hands already and like I said I have another pair so if I, I have um, if I had a two a buffet and I would use both sides I would have the other pair on the other side of the table so either way and it can, the, the salad can be accessible to my guests on either side of the buffet lastly I have I found this basket and it was $4.99 and it was from the Salvation Army as well so it was like $2.50 $249 and I love this you know a lot of things I can do with this I can put my silverware in here um, during events and you know that people can just um, get their own cutlery out of here I could put napkins in here I can lay them down or I can sit them up in here and people just take the napkins this can also go into your restroom and you can have napkins in there so instead of having like the paper towel roll or whatever you can just have your napkins and I usually have like decorative napkins that I get from the Dollar Tree the long square ones and I will put them in here um, another thing I was thinking about doing with this one is all of my um, wildflowers that I received from Bath and Body Works I was going to place them in here and place them in my candle closet that way you know I can see all of them be in one place I know I can always go to it and um, it's accessible I know what I it's another way I know what I have I know what I need and you know um, and it's really pretty and decorative I went to Bath and Body Works a couple of times during this sale that they have going on and I'm just not impressed I wasn't it was nothing that I wanted once again nothing that I wanted nothing that I felt like I had to have and that's what I buy I'm not really an impulse buyer but I buy things that I, I see that I have a need for or I foresee a need for and it, there was just nothing 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 believe me I was trying and nothing so I am going to wait until they bring out the new things for the next for the spring and then I'll begin shopping for that because I had all the you know leaves and all that I have all that already in my counter closet so that's it guys that is what I have been doing these past two weeks I have been thrifting planning and just a little bit of after Christmas shopping so that's it I hope you enjoyed this video if there's any type of video that you would like to see me do or if you like videos like this thumbs up let me know leave me a comment let me know what you think and um, I will try my best to um, make a video or come up with something that um, you would like that you'll be interested in so guys as I always say whenever you're in town you can always come by Winnie's house talk to you guys later bye bye